Sàn bốc mua mét slide Gu wi wi Xem có răng à, thì xem có răng à Sorry guys, my, my, my home yelling yeah, a noise Real oh. noise my, my, my mother is talking here I'm playing with someone <laughs> Crazy Okay, let's enjoy the matchup Sandbox and Muhammad Sly Who is the best? Damn, rich spam and house to stop Oh my god, man really good, so too much up, man really good. Five bốn, the last cam, um, um, Ram Rider. Sunbox, we need to keep the mans for defense, Ram Rider. Because the man have no back. No back. Oh no way! <laughs> I kick King Tower and maybe two ground. No way! No way! No way! Alex chose I gonna destroy everything. This man here. Sonority, please. Careful on the left. One more, one more. Zai, Electro Zai, camera. Yeah, exactly. Why? Electro Dragon here? You leave? No way. No way, why drop the electrical dragon here? That's crazy. Time to man and ram. A man and ram rider. He cannot defend one in and he doesn't need to fight anymore. Do not try to push Ram Rider on the same land as Electro Zion. The really bad idea. And double Electro Zion right now. Let's go number two. No, the big mistake, Sambo. Uh. 
with Archer Queen and instead, I don't know, he that keeps, one certainly he, is available for him. He, he changed the man. He, he, he doesn't keep man defense rather electro zine. That's right. Off the board. So we'll see if that's the direction he's going in here in game number two. Game number two, Muhammad Light starts with Bandit. So, I mean, I see Bandit and I automatically assume it's going to be the Prince. Minor poison. Uh, Good night. Deck with that. It still is looking like that could be the case. Definitely going to have to uh, see what these final cards are. And Sandbox on the flip side, going to be able to not activate the King Tower. Uh, Sandbox is just going to be utilizing the Minor Poison Bomb Tower. And on the opposite end, I believe Muhammad Light is running the MK Bandit Wall Raiders. And so you see Sandbox seeing Tornado out going minor immediately. So nice pick here by CMG's player. We'll see if it does pay off for him as the first minute takes away and we're pretty <coughs> damaged. In fact, precisely no, even like he got until it. this minor. He got to make a night. And an arrow sprints. I think he tell the fleece. Oh, I'm not confident no about it. I think he tell her, right? Quick, quick, go. Let's try to do Okay, I think he tell the fleece. The really nice thing for Sandbox in that situation is the arrows, I think, uh, they don't have a phenomenal target. Sandbox right? is okay nervous. Targets here nervous. In, if you get a really nice Free and Mega Knight. But you're still going How do they fan the big push right now? Again with a three elixir card against a one elixir card. So very, that, that's a nice situation for Sandbox. Trade all. And the bats escape. No. Oh. NATO does not activate again. So no, Sandbox is just really struggling here in game number two. Right here, banded opposite land. I'm not a total fan of that pressure just because you can easily ice spirit, bring it into the bomb tower. Uh, but right there, yeah, an another slight error from Sandbox. He is going to have to come back out. But he does recognize, hey, like, his only spell is Ares. So, you know, he does have a lot of pressure. Like, on top of the tower by itself. Yeah, he For the day, Sandbox has the minor poison. So, if it's even with 30 seconds left, those minor poisons. Mega Knight being kind of nicely here by all the one elixir troops, and plus the Phoenix Death Egg getting in there on the kite action. So, on a well timed queen ability, forcing the NATO out. Look at the elixir advantage from Muhammad Light now. Really, really nice stuff, and you see that's exactly what the look on Muhammad Light's face. He was going to try to predict skeletons <laughs> I think against tower. those wall breakers, and the skeletons weren't there, and that free elixir had been completely given away, or significantly given away, that elixir advantage. This Oliver so I and I earlier. cannot stop everything. This is one of those times where I'm trying to tell a player not to predict. This is one of the few times in my life where I will ever ask that of a player. Right there, I feel like you have to wait till triple to try and do that, and uh... Good skellies up top. The prince is going to be is not going to be able to hit the tower. I mean, this is he's panicking, but also this is still perfect defense from Sandbox. The bomb tower is just struggling to control all of this the, these heavy troops, right? Between the prince and the mega knight. Okay, the I think tower tower good. To the it's not bad, but I think too late. Too late. The last 90 seconds. He, he, he can control them, but the DPS isn't there to take them off the board, and that's the damage that we're seeing from those big empty boards. So, Ali Minor, really dies in recursion like right now. Oh, this is my job. Sort of controlling his own destiny. It, it, he kind of knows what he's doing at this point, but it's just, it's too little too late, possibly. It, it's, Muhammad Light has gotten so much doubt, uh, tower damage on the right side. That now that he's getting these double, uh, double phoenix, the minor, the poison, it just might not matter. And I like the NATO idea, but I just don't think that's how he can win, because he's just going to be able to kite. Yep, and you see the, 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 those perfect kites, the very little arrow's value in the middle, getting the bird off the board, 779 to 1754. Yeah, like really fast. Wait, wait. It's a good pressure on the right side. The miner is getting taken for by the Phoenix. He will be able to kite the you know. He could do something with here, and that's a great miner. Not going to allow 
any of the troops to get the minor poison or to uh, get the right dash. Oh, oh you saw there Muhammad Light kind of going all in on the pressure sandbox, trying to get a little bit extra and just a hair away. 52 HP. The best player in the world. Hmm. For sure. It's a bad player in the world.